My name is Jonathan Thompson, and I'm the CEO of Nielsen Massey Vanillas. Nielsen Massey is over a 110-year-old company. It's actually third generation, family-owned to this day. It's three shareholders, and they're actually still very involved in the business. We take the world's finest vanilla that we source from Madagascar, Uganda, all different kinds of origins around the world. What we do is we turn that into the world's best extracts, powders, pastes, and other culinary delights. We have four channels that we operate in. We have a manufacturing division, which is ingredient-based business. And then we have a retail business, which is online and brick and mortar. The specialty and natural foods channels where we really focus. And then we also have a food service business. So if you think Michelin star and high-end chefs, that's where we really made a name for ourselves. But really our strategy over the last few years has been about expanding without losing the quality and the, and the really high-end gourmet specialty chops that we're known for, but how do we expand out into more of the natural and the broader food drug mass? So really, if you look at our business, we've really been known in the specialty side and the specialty sector of retail. When you start to branch out from there, fact-based selling and data becomes extremely important. When I came to the business a couple of years ago, we didn't have a category management team. We didn't even purchase third-party data. And that was something that I saw as a need and a gap. And so immediately, I rang up Spence. I had some experience with spins, dealing with exactly this journey of taking a specialty brand and expanding that into natural and broader food drug mass. And that's where I, I saw that spins could help us out. So from day one, we brought in spins, but we actually not only got help on the data, but we actually brought in their client insights manager, or their SIM, to help us out because we didn't even have a category management firm. And so from there, that evolved into partnering up with Spins on a whole host of projects. Everything from strategy all the way up to the board level of where do we play, how do we navigate this journey from specialty through to the other retail outlets out there, but also looking at our pricing, looking at our trade strategy, looking at basket data, all kinds of data that we started to pull together in combination with our consumer insights to try to tell a picture of how do we navigate and strategically move our brand forward into retail. One of the tools that we weren't availing of ourselves of was the destiny data. Uh, which is essentially a tool that's set on our website so that somebody could find where is our product distributed from a retail perspective. And we, we had a project where we said, well, look, we're working on getting more targeted from a top-down marketing perspective. How do we reach our consumers with really compelling email and, and other social content? And we realized that the Destiny data and the Destiny tool, while not designed to do this, could actually help us when partnered up with some of our consumer data to get very targeted and actually go target our consumers with particular messaging in certain key markets and then test that to see if we actually got a lift in those markets using the Destiny data. And it actually turned out to work and we got some fantastic results. My name is Adam Hobler. I'm the Senior Director of Marketing at Nielsen Massey. With the Destiny Store Locator tool, one of the, the challenges that we had as an organization is we don't have direct-to-consumer business models set up right now. So we wanted to find a way to connect our advertising to our products and the consumer to the store level. And so what we were able to do is through like our social ads, our search ads, we had a link to the product pages and then through the Destiny Store Locator tool, we were able to direct them to the, a place where they could actually go ahead and, and act on that interest and make a purchase at a store in their local geography. And so worked closely with our Destiny partner and we built out a targeting capability that allowed us to go after uh, zip codes where our target consumer, where there's a concentration of our target consumer and we were able to overlay that with where we had distribution. And so those are the zip codes that we went after. Um, at the end of every month, we looked at our performance. And so the marketing, the areas that we targeted, the zip codes that we targeted with our marketing spend, we compared that to the zip codes that we did not target, like like markets. And we saw which stores were actually seeing the, the biggest response. And as a result of that initiative in Q4, uh, we were able to better understand how we could be more effective with our marketing spend, and we're gonna apply that this year. We were also able to equip ourselves with a good story that we can give to our retailers of investments that we're making that are specifically driving velocity at their stores, because we can get down to that store level. Another additional benefit that we have from the store level data is that uh, we're able to see where are we gonna be able to target to get the highest quality of new distribution by looking at where are the concentrations of our core consumer and where is a, a retailer and where, like, where are those zip codes where there's the overlay of a core concentration of our consumer and the zip code, or the zip code where the retailer exists. And where is that overlap and those are gonna be the high quality accounts that we're gonna to wanna to go after. So all together, when I look at the partnership with Spins, it's been phenomenal from using uh, the SIM, the data, partnering with some of the thought leadership that we've had on projects, whether it be on 
looking at potential acquisition, we've been looking at new places to play, innovation, our pricing strategy, um, all the way through to the Destiny tool and some of the innovations we've been able to, to use and, and manipulate some of the data to help us get where we're going to go. Um, you look at that in the last couple of years, we've actually over doubled our ACV out in the market. So we've had some tremendous results with upgrading our know-how and our data sets, and I credit a lot of that to the Spence Partnership.